Yo, what's going on guys, in this video we're going to be doing Infovore from Bullnhub. This is box right about medium. And yeah, let's get on to the video. Three, I'm gonna start building my terminals here. I'm gonna start a and I discover my SR 10.0.0.1 from a gateway slash IT0. Doing this, we do get the IP of the box, 10.0.0.230. I'm gonna do control shift Z and start building M maps count. So I'll do MM, my SSC for default scripts, my SSC for duration. Let's count puts in the IP. Doing this, I'm gonna do my SV for verbos. Look at the ports, we need a port 80 open for HTTP. So I'm going to start visiting port 80. Doing this, we do get a start bootstrap. We do have a sign up and also a login. So I'm going to do control YouTube users code. And it doesn't seem like we do have anything. So I'm going to copy this and start running a GoBuster. But I'll start by doing some enumeration. So I'll do GoBuster, der mode minus u with the IP address. Take this off. We'll do minus w for slash user share or list. We'll do DirtBuster directory. Let's do point medium.txe. We'll do extensions as HTML, TXE, and also PHP. Index.php, index.html, image, info.php. So I'm just going to copy this. Before doing that, I do want to visit or check out the ports. Here we have port 80 open for HTTP. This is running Apache. And this does seem like that's the only port that is running. Doing this, I'm going to visit info.php. We do have a PHP version here of 7.4.7. .7. And um, look at the GoBuster, we'd also have that index.php and index.html. Not sure why there's an index.php and also index.html. Um, I'm gonna start by going to index.php and start by fuzzing for a parameter. Um, it does seem like it's the same page. If we go to index.php, also index.html, it does seem like this is the same page. So I'm gonna copy this and start by using wfuzz to fuzz for a parameter. Um, if we do have an LFI, we can get remote code execution through a worker pool, uh, which we can later on get from payload all the things. So I'm going to do control U. So I'll do W fuzz minus U. Go into the IP address, we'll do question mark fuzz. We're going to equal this to slash etc password. We'll do minus W for slash user share word list. We'll do LFI. I'm just going to be setting up for the LFI params.txe. We'll do minus minus HW for zero. Um, so here I am adding my HW because we do have the word. Looking back up here, we do have the word, the characters, and also the payload, um, which WFuzz does, does allow you to hide the word. In this case, we are hiding the word. So right now we do have the word for 382. So I do 382. And if we do get if we do get a different response, it is going to opt out for the payload. So we did get a different response on 73. The payload is file name. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to do question mark file name. We did know that we did point this out to a password file for slash etc password. I'm going to do get an LFI. So I'm going to run a bin slash bash on here. This seems like when we do have a user as root. And I just did control F. So you can run a bin slash bash. Or you can also do like a bin slash sh. Because usually users also run under bin slash sh. Since we do have an LFI and also a PHP info page, um, it is possible that we can get remote remote code execution. So I'm just going to go to payload all the things. Um, I'll just do like LFI, or maybe we can just go to like the file inclusion. So I'm just going to go to file. We did have that file inclusion. We do have the upload of lfi.py and also the php info.lfi.py. So I'm just going to go to raw data, copy this, that we get this into my machine. I'm going to be into php info lfi. Looking back up here, um, we do know this is running in, we can run this in Python too. Uh, we do have the payload here, which we can later on change. I'm just going to be changing this to a PHP reverse shell. Um, we can also change out the LFI request. So look at the LFI request. We can change this to, I believe this is index.php. And for the file name, for the parameter, this was file name. So I'll, be, I'll be changing that. We can change the PHP question mark file name. We can set this to percent sign %s. Um, we do have request one. This is going to be for just info.php, which we did see, which was the info page. And that seems about it. 
So I'm just going to write quite out this. So I'll do Python 2. I'll do PHP info.py. Uh, before doing that, I actually forgot to do the change of the payload. Is that payload? Here we go. We do have the payload. I forgot to change the payload here. Um, so you can change this to reverse shell or whatever you want or the further one liner. So I'm just going to be changes to a PHP reverse shell. So I'll just do PHP rev shell. I'm just going to go to pen test monkey for the GitHub. Go to raw data, copy this, W get this onto my machine. So I'm just going to run. I'm just going to just W get this. We'll be adding to PHP. Rochelle.php. We don't need any of this, so I can just delete this. We'll change the IP to my IP address, which is 10.0.069. And we'll do this on 9001. I'm just going to write quit. So we cat that PHP version dot PHP and just copy this. We can put that into the payload uh, variable. So I'm copy this. We'll be into PHP info LFI dot py. We did have the payload here. I'm just going to do Control Shift V. I just want to make sure we do have the IP. So here we do have the IP for ten zero 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 six nine on port nine thousand one. So I'm just going to write quit. I'm just going to do Python 2. We'll do php info lfi.py. It is asking us for the host, the port, and also the threads. So for the host name or for the remote host, we did have this on 10.0.0.230. So 10.0.0.230 is going to be on port 80. And we'll just set the threads to 100. And uh, it does seem like we do have a no php temp underscore name in PHP info output. Before doing that, I'm just gonna set up a listener. So I'll do LRM and I cap my cell MVP on 9001. So it is showing that we do have a PHP underscore name. So I'm just gonna VI to PHP info LFI.py. We do have one there. Also do have another one here. And it does seem like we can change the HTML entities. To find this, we can send this within burp. Um, so we can change this to 127.0.0.1 for the local host. So I'm going to start by saying this with the burp so we can find the, um, the post and also the response. Or for the, for the response for, for the script, right? So I'm just going to go to options, go to add. We'll do this on port 80. For the request handling, we'll just do 10.0.0.230. We'll do some port 80. Okay, we do have that in there. We can go to intercept. Let's turn on this. You do see that this is sent by burp. I'm just going to go to HTTP history. And right now I'm looking for the request and also the response, but in this case we don't have it. So I'm going to try this one more time. We might need to try this a couple times. Doesn't seem to work. Try this one more time. We have the temp underscore name. We don't have the temp underscore name. Let me just turn intercept on and off. And it does seem like we do the request and also the response. So in these ones, I'm not sure why I didn't request the, it doesn't show the response, but we do have the, resp the response now. So I'm just gonna do temp underscore name. And for the HTML entity, we do have is equal to and GT. We're gonna VI into PHP info LFI.py. We did have the temp underscore name, which is gonna, in this case, we do have equal to a greater than sign. 
And here we do have is equal to and GT. So I'm going to go into Ectimo. So we'll equal to and GT. Also do have um, if I search up the temp underscore name, we did also have another equal to and GT. So I'm just going to write quite out this. Just to confirm, we can you can just use the control F. Find the name for the temp underscore name. We do have the uh, equal to and GT. So now we can set up our worker pool. We do have our list of 9001. We'll do this on 10.0.0.230. If we did everything right, we should get a Versha. We do ID and we are dub dub data. So I'm export my I'm sorry by exporting my term is equal to X term. I'm sorry by running a bash, maybe a bin slash bash minus I. And it does seem like we are dub 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 data for this container. Just to confirm, I'm still gonna do host name. We are under a container. Another way you can confirm, um, if you go to the top, you will see that we do have a Docker EMV for the Docker environment. But just mean that we are in a Docker container. So I'm gonna do my SLA. Uh, we do have a Docker ENV. Also do have a dot old keys dot tgz file refer directory. This is a directory, so I'm just gonna copy this, put this under slash temp. We'll cd into temp, see what this file is. I'm gonna do tar minus xvf for this file. And we do have a root and I'll say a root.pub. So I'm just gonna cat this root. And we do have a private key. I'm also gonna cat this root.pub. I'm just gonna maybe we don't have port 22 open. Just to confirm, I'm just gonna run an MAP scan. So I'll do MAP scan on ports on 10.0.0 230. And this seems like we need to have port 80 open for HTTP. Um do we have, maybe we can check for SSH. We do have SSH, we can maybe SSH into root. Um, I'm just gonna put cat this root. We do have this private key. I'm gonna see if we can use SSH to John. I'm gonna be going to hash, um, we'll do ID underscore RSA. We'll just put this private key in there. I believe this is under user share John. SSH to John will specify if we do minus H. Do you see it is asking us for a private key? So I'm gonna do ID underscore the same. Now we can output this to like an output.txe. We do have our let me just output.txe. Now we can use John's. So we'll do John minus minus word list is equal to slash user share word list. Rocky.txe, we do have the output.txe. I'm gonna see if this um, does require a password for this private key. And we do have, it does indeed require a password. Um, we do have a password as chocolate93, and this was for that root. Um, so I'll switch users to root, see if that is that password. We do ID. Now we are under root, we'll run a bash. Maybe a bin slash bash minus i. We do id. So you need to root ls. We can cat our root.txe. So it does seem like we do need a, we, did, we just own the PHP info, but we are still inside that container. I'm going to cd into .ssh. We do have a id underscore rsa, which we do have a private key. So do have the id underscore rsa.pub. So I want to start by checking for the user under here. We did have a user for admin. Just to confirm that we do have that user. I'm gonna cat the slash etc password, grab minus i for we'll just grab minus i for admin. And maybe we can do a minus r. cat slash etc password. We have admin under here. Can we switch users to admin? 
Maybe we can start by, we can just SSH then. We should have SSH under here, which we do. Some cat that ID underscore say, um, which we, we already do have this under the ID underscore say. I'm also going to cat this pub, which is for admin. So I'm going to SSH into admin at 192. Can we do, maybe we can do an IF config to go from that IP address, maybe an IP adder. Doesn't seem like we do have IP or I have configs. So I'm just going to see if we can just SSH into this user. So do SSH as admin. We'll do ID. We do ID. Exit. Bash. Bin slash bash minus I. Maybe we lost. Doesn't seem to work. I'm gonna try this one more time. Let me create a worker pool again. We here we go. I'm just gonna run a PS ox because it doesn't seem to like control. So let's see if we can kill this. Uh, we do have the PID for 4618. So do uh, kill minus nine. Also do have the process ID for 4787, which we did kill the show kill. Let me just run this one more time. Run that. I'll wrap run this one more time. Alright, so I just reload the machine. Um, you might have a little bit of trouble trying to get rubber shell again. Um, it does seem like once you do have a rubber shell, you do have to restart the machine, or you won't get rubber shell. But doing this, we do have Python two, PHP alpha.py followed by the host, which can be, is going to be for the remote host for ten zero 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 two thirty on port eighty for hundred threads. So I'm gonna press enter on that. And it does seem like we do get the worker pool working. We do ID, and we know we are under dub 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 beta. So I'm export my term is equal to X term. I'm gonna start by responding a bin slash bash minus I. I'm also gonna check for like which Python three, or maybe which Python two. So we can spawn E T T Y, or maybe just um, maybe just Python. It doesn't seem like we can spawn E T T Y on here. Um, we already did crack. The ID underscore RSA, which I'm gonna switch to root. If I do ID, CD to root, ls, and cat a root.txe. So we do have a root flag right there. So I'm gonna do this, or I'm gonna spawn a bin slash bash minus i. Uh, since we don't have a TTY, and if we do if we do a CD into dot SSH, we do need a um, SSH into root, right? Um, so I'm just gonna exhale this. Go back into. I'm gonna switch users to root, or do I'm gonna do switch users minus p, since we don't have a TTY. Do slash root. We also did have that password for chocolate ninety three, and now if we do try to SSH into the user admin, it will fail as needing a TTY. So I'm gonna do cat into id underscore or same. So do we also did have the id underscore say dot pub. Which was for 192.168.150.1. Also, do want to run IF, IF config and also an IP adder just, just to go from this IP address. It doesn't seem like we can confirm it. So, SSH into admin. We also did have 192.168.150.1. Or we could do I, minus I for ID underscore saying. And it is asking us for the passphrase. We have the passphrase as chocolate 93. We do ID and now we are under admin. Um, it does seem like we are under the Docker group. I'm also gonna run, I'm also gonna run a pseudo mine cell. And it doesn't seem like that is a password for admin. Are we doing ID? We do see that we do have the Docker group. Um, you can either 
look this up on hack tricks or you can just search up for like gtfo bins uh docker i believe it, it is on hack tricks but it is easier just to go to shell copy this we just get a shell now we can run a bash we are in a container but we are we do have the group id for root so we see into root ls and kind of root.txe well guys that's pretty much in the video don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace